Hi everyone, I'm Kelly and today I'm going to talk to you guys about math curriculum and choosing it. I've tried several different curriculums. Okay, this video is mostly going to be for me to kind of describe um, each curriculum and what we liked about it, what we didn't, like my recommendations about choosing. Okay, so I'm going to start with probably the favorite curriculum that my kids have ever tried and this is I think the only one that they've ever actually said that they liked and that is Life of Fred. Life of Fred looks kind of like this. This is the first elementary book and it is called Life of Fred Apples. I do, I'm not an expert on this but they do have an elementary series, an intermediate series, and then um, an upper level series. So what I have so far is the apples and um, butterflies which are the two beginning books of the elementary series and then the intermediate series there's a few different ones but right here I've got kidneys and liver which they have very interesting names <laughs> um, and then I have the fractions book which my seventh grader did last year and I know you can do that at younger levels than seventh grade but since we were just starting Life of Fred we decided to go with that what these look like inside is just black and white with illustrations and basically it's a it's a funny story there's a boy named Fred who is a math genius and he's a very young he's a very young kid you read this story and you learn about math topics and you learn about other topics as well and then at the end of each short lesson there is some questions for you we use it as a supplement or just a second curriculum the ones they don't take very long to get through let me just look at apples apples is what would you would use as your first book for an elementary student and it's really basic so don't expect like if you start this on with like your third grader or fourth grader don't expect them to learning difficult topics this is the same book that a kindergartner would start with it lays the foundation so like I said I wouldn't use it as my sole curriculum but it is really entertaining and the, I think that alone makes it worth getting. When the kids actually say that they like a curriculum, I want to get it. Um, this one has 18 chapters in it. Um, you can get through multiple books in a year, basically. Um, and if you want more information about that, you can check out their website or rainbowresource.com. I'll link it below. I'm not Okay, so that's our number one most loved curriculum. Um, we've tried a lot of other curriculums. Um, another one that my, ki my boys said that they enjoyed was Beast Academy and that looks like this and like this is the is the other one that we have out right here um, I don't have the workbooks right now because my kids finished them and then I packed them up in the basement so this is 3A and they're really cool inside which is why I think that my boys like them they look like a cartoon or like a comic book now just give you guys a few glimpses here. It was pretty advanced for the level, but I used it with older kids. I used 3A with my fourth grader and I felt like he was learning things. I definitely think it's a little bit advanced, but they do, I believe they have placement tests. If your child likes comic books or is really not into the whole, you know, just questions on a page type curriculum, um, this is a great option. My boys did enjoy it, and that would be the number two most enjoyed curriculum. The main one that I'm planning on using for this coming school year with all of the kids, which is called CTC Math. And I kept getting emails about it, and then I saw it, I think, on the Homeschool Buyers Co-op, which is one of my favorite websites. I decided to check it out. They actually have a free trial. It's like, it doesn't have the most bells and whistles. I felt like it had really solid curriculum. Their video lessons, and then there's questions right there after they finish the lesson so it's kind of simple it's all on the computer um, but there are worksheets and things that you can print out so that's an option the main reason that I decided to try it was it has a lot of really good reviews and because it is cost-effective they also have monthly plans so you can choose if you want for like to just pay by the month and then of course you pay a little bit more like usual with those types of things that would be one that I would really recommend checking out and just you know signing up for the free trial and just giving it a go yourself I tried a lesson I felt like the teacher explained things very well and everything was great 
So I decided, you know, it convinced me enough that I wanted to try to use that this year. I think that the thing that it, um, I really like another curriculum called Teaching Textbooks. Um, but the problem with that one for me is that it's, I think it's like 160 to $180 per level per year. So, I mean, not per year. If you have the, le the level, you can use it for other kids in the future. Teaching textbooks is a lot more expensive. You do get the workbook and everything, and you get it on disc. Um, and I really love the program. But for me, like this year, I would have had to buy four new levels. And so that's a lot of money just for one subject. And I just don't have that kind of money to spend on one subject. So I decided to go with this, and then we're going to you know, do our life of Fred, and then I have some other workbooks that the kids will do um, on days that they don't do a life of Fred lesson. I'll probably make another video about this, but um, basically my plan is CTC math, the lessons are pretty short, so they'll, the kids will do one lesson on that each day, and then they'll do either a life of Fred lesson or a lesson or a page, a practice page in a Kumon workbook of their level. So. That's the plan for this year. We'll see how that works out. Um, I know a couple of the kids do want the Beast Academy, so I might end up ordering that. I haven't quite decided. But anyway, back to the back to the other math curriculums that we've tried. Okay, so like I mentioned, teaching textbooks, it's pretty similar as far as it has the video lessons and it's got the workbook. When we did it, my kids didn't use the workbook really. They um, the levels that we had, they were able to just figure out the answers and put them in like in their head mentally and then put them into the computer. So technically what you're supposed to do is watch the video lesson and then go to the table or desk and do the worksheet in the workbook and then you come back and the child inputs their answers. And then it has a grade book and everything. Um, but my kids didn't use the workbook, they just entered it online. So that's something to think about. You don't, I mean, I probably, if I was to order it again, I don't know if I would order the workbook for the low levels because they can work it just in a notebook too. Um, the other thing about CTC math and teaching textbooks, they both have the online, they both have the grade book um, and they, it grades your scores and everything and shows the teacher the results and everything. So that's a really good plus for me that it grades them and you can see at any time where your child is at and what, how they're doing. Um, and for me, anything that like self grades is a huge help because I have five children to grade for and that just takes a lot of time if you're doing it individually. Okay, um, another program we've tried in the past was Saxon Math. And I know this is a great program and I know a lot of people recommend it and a lot of people use it. Um, but for us, it was not a fit. My kids are not, none of them are uh, kids who love math. They are all kids who tolerate math. And so um, Saxon was a nightmare for them. It, was, it has so many problems, just boring on a page, like just, you know, lots of problems on a, the most boring possible page that you could get. Um, when, I, when I first purchased it, I got it with a Sunlight Core and I felt like it was a strong program I had read, you know, and so I really wanted to use a strong program with my kids. But after using it, I realized this isn't going to work for us and it's not going to instill a love of learning, which is kind of, that's my goal. In One of my main goals in homeschooling is for my children to enjoy it and to actually learn something. So if they're sitting at a workbook and they hate it and they don't understand it or it's just super, super tedious, they're not going to enjoy it and it's going to be hard to learn from it. So I know that from being in public school. So I decided to nix the whole Saxon thing. It's a possibility that that would work for your child because everyone's different. So I'm just giving you my own personal feedback for my kids. So maybe if your child is really math minded, maybe that would be something that would be up their alley. Next program I'm going to talk about is Math Mammoth. And this is one that I had found on the Homeschool Buyers Co-op website. and it was a really good deal like the levels and it goes from kindergarten all the way I think to fifth or sixth grade and then there are like there's curriculum per level and then there's also separate workbooks based on topics so if your child struggles with division or if you just want to do them in a topic way a topical sequence you can do that um, it comes with so many workbooks um, 
it's all on a download so you know you're not having to you don't you don't get all those workbooks for that price but it's really inexpensive and for us we use that um, we've used it over the years at multiple different times and then sometimes when my kids run out of their workbook like and I was a bad mommy and didn't order the new workbook in time um, I'll print out a couple sheets from that so we've definitely gotten our money's worth out of that resource it's also really really well put together um, I feel like it it is very strong at teaching it's also another one of those things that the kids weren't very excited about I think it was it was better than Saxon but still not very exciting and so I personally wouldn't recommend it as like your main curriculum unless your kid enjoys math or if you really really need to stick to a budget because it is probably I'm trying to think it's probably the definitely the most cost-effective one that I found that is complete and um, really goes through everything hi guys I just realized I was looking for the link for math mammoth um, and I realized it's not on the homeschool buyers co-op anymore right now anyway and so I looked on rainbow resource and it's there but it's not nearly as inexpensive as it was when I got it it's around two hundred dollars for the all-inclusive package and so it's not nearly as inexpensive as I thought. Um, I guess it's still a good deal, but I would definitely keep my eye out for the Homeschool Buyers Co-op because they do have it there sometimes. And I know I got it for a lot better of a deal than that. So just FYI. <laughs> okay, another one that we've tried is Christian Light Publications. Um, they have the, I think they're called Light Units. Um, and they're just simply called like Math 1, Math 2, Math 3. I thought they were kind of cute. They came in a little booklet with so many lessons in them. And so you had to buy multiple of those a year. But unfortunately, my kids weren't into it. Um, they did. I did like that they had time drills and things in the lessons. So the child would do a lesson, like read the information, answer the questions. And then they'd also be doing a time drill. They'd have to turn to the back of their book and set the timer and everything. So that was kind of fun. And those are pretty inexpensive too. So... Um, not my top pick, but it is an option, and I thought that the curriculum was nice. When my daughter was, re my oldest daughter was really young, we tried Singapore math, and Singapore, I was really excited about. I loved the the guide, which like the student text. It was a paperback text, and it was colorful and fun. And then they had the student workbook, and then we got the, I think it was called the intensive practice or something. It's been a long time. So, but they were extra work. Uh, extra problems but the problem with that was that my daughter didn't understand it it was really difficult for her and she didn't enjoy it even though the work you know the text looked really fun it really she was really struggling with it and didn't enjoy it so uh, we haven't used that again I'm sure that if I used it again with some of my kids they would probably enjoy it but you know there's so many good curriculums and I found some that I enjoy so we haven't went back to it okay and then the last one, like I mentioned earlier, this year my kids are going to do some Kumon. I hope that's how you say it because I've been saying it like that. Um, Kumon workbooks for their level, and it's obviously I'm not. It's not a curriculum, and I'm not using it as a curriculum. I am using CTC Math as our math curriculum, along with Life of Fred. And then, but Life of Fred, I don't want the kids to go through like a ton of books in one year, so I'm just going to supplement in with on the days that they don't do Life of Fred they're going to do a page in a Kumon workbook just to practice. It's kind of nice because if they're doing multiple different things they're practicing multiple different concepts because you know they're not all going to be on the same topics. They might be doing multiplication in their CTC course and then maybe they have a division Kumon work workbook and maybe they are work learning about fractions in Life of Fred. So I really like how they're going to be you know working on different things and not you know it keeps things fresh in the mind uh, so I think that about wraps it up for this video so if you guys have any other curriculums that you really like um, that I didn't mention or if you have comments on any of the ones that I did mention just let me know in the comments I would love to hear about it and yeah I'm gonna try to put as many of the links as I can down below um, if if they're not there, I would definitely check out rainbowresource.com or sunlight.com. I know Sunlight has Saxon and Singapore. Um, they also have Horizons, which I didn't talk about because we haven't tried that. Um, 
but Rainbow Resource has, I think, all of these products, so you could check those out. So thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye!